frameshift drive charging. Ready to engage. Welcome to the Creative Geek, where we help makers of games, toys and creative technology to develop their craft by understanding play. For example, through videos about extended game devices, such as this video. So if you like this combination of uh, physical design and theoretical knowledge, it might be a good idea to click that subscribe button. That way, you can follow along as I discover new things. And follow me, from cardboard prototype to a fully functioning space cookie. Did I tell you I made the throttle handle, the forward-backward gas stick, so to speak? I'm quite happy with it, actually. So I think this is going to be the first piece that will actually go into the final version. I decided to just use a rotary potentiometer as the sensor, even though it's really, really small. But I mean, the sensor doesn't have to be big as long as it feels big, the actual throttle. And I think I managed. Here's my 10K potentiometer, and it fits into this little thing. Like this. So that you can get a knob that you can turn it around. But this is way too small for what I want. So I'm gonna make this into a lever. Luckily, I found this. It's part of an old camera stand that I'm not using. And this hole fits that little knob. And this one is a standard, so I can just screw something in there. And luckily, I had no lamp where I grab this part. So that's going to be the lever that you turn. And I can use this one to fasten this one. For now I need to solve these small things. And for that I bent a 90 degree angle where that little knob can fit in and I can use the rest to drill it into place. So that will be one of the hands that holds it up. And on the other end, the sensor will, will be. And of course I need some support for that as well. And I just made a few small wooden blocks. That fits in here and the sensor rest on them. I'm using epoxy to fit these together and I made a couple of small holes and dents in this plastic so that the epoxy can run in there and secure it together so that it stays in one place. I'm soldering the signal now as it's gonna be hard to reach it later. And now, all we need to do is to put it on the controller and try it out. I'm putting it here, on the side. And for this early prototype, I'm just putting it with uh, duct tape and a couple of wires. It's enough for now. There's three wires going out. Power, ground, and a signal. And of course, in the other end, these go into the Arduino. The signal going into one of the analog ports. So let's try it out. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more of this project, click the playlist that comes after this.